Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Pad 6 and today I will show you how you can enable your power saving mode on this tablet. So to get started you want to pull down your toggles by swiping down from the top of your screen, like so. This will show you a bunch of toggles that you have access to. Now power saving should be one of the toggles visible. Uh, though it might not be on the first page as I can see it here. So I'm going to swipe to the left and this will show me a second page which I can see that the battery saver is located on. Now, once you see it, you can simply tap on it. It will automatically enable it. I'm going to check something. Oh, doesn't do anything. So Xiaomi decides that information about what gets changed with power saving mode is overrated. So I can only speculate uh, what will be changing and I do want to kind of give you some insight, possible insight into this. So if something wonky is starting to happen with your device later on that you realize or something that you want to look for, uh, you will be aware of what's causing it. So uh, with that being said, usually or typically uh, battery saver will basically reduce things like refresh rate. So if you're using 90 and gets down to 60, brightness, uh, dark mode, those are usually the typical ones. Now the uh, other ones that you don't get to see, because these are all that you can actually notice, will be things like the Wi-Fi and mobile data being turned off when the device is not being used. And that will result in a delayed delivery of notifications from any kind of application that requires internet connection. So just to name a few, Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, and so on. So all these that require internet might give you a delayed notifications or just not deliver them at all till you interact with the device, at which point the tablet would actually automatically reconnect with the network and sync up everything that was missing. So that will be the most important one. And another one is that applications get terminated quicker in the background. So any kind of application that would be running. What in the heck is this? Ah, there we go. Uh, any application that is running like here in the background, like Netflix or so on, will basically be turned off. It will still show up, but it's virtually off. It's not taking any resources to save up battery. So those are the two main uh, differences that usually happen with power saving, which you might be interested in actually knowing because it might actually change uh, important things like the delivery of notifications, with which you might rely on. Now, obviously, to uh, remove that downside, all you would need to do is just turn off the power saving mode. And as an additional kind of bit of information, nice time. Um, I will add one more thing, which if you don't want to use the power saving mode for those reasons, because it's delaying your notifications and so on, or not delivering them, uh, what you could do, uh, this will only function for screen on time, though you could kind of push it even further would be for screen on time, the best solution to save up battery is just lower down the brightness. Uh, lower it down as far as you feel comfortable. Lowering down from like max to halfway will yield you several additional hours of battery life. So that is pretty good already. And in addition, you could turn off some of the toggles that are turned on by default, uh, which here we don't actually have anything that I could. Yeah, there's nothing actually usable here to turn off. So. I guess that's that's not a viable solution. Typically, you'd have things like Netflix, mobile data. Obviously, this is not a Wi-Fi or not a mobile uh, device supporting device, so it has no SIM card. Uh, but yeah, location and stuff like that would save your battery. But in case of this tablet specifically, if there is a version with uh, mobile connectivity, it will have virtually all the toggles like hotspots and so on. If you have those enabled location um, and so on, you can turn those off and this will give you a little bit of battery. So there we go. Those are ways you can power manage your device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.